Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to uh, uh, my living room, where I'm glad to be able to bring you some uh, music this afternoon. Hopefully, it will bring you some comfort and peace, and also some joy. I've just uh, been thinking about what I might play, uh, what we might need to hear right now, and you know what what uh, what I even need to hear right now. So I've picked a few songs that I'm going to have happy to share with you this afternoon and um, I hope that they uh, they are enjoyable. Surely if you uh, are, are welcome to go back and listen to these at, at any time and uh, for those who may join late and I'll encourage again that they can go back and listen to these at any time. So um, I've chosen some songs that uh, come from the Psalms. Of course, the Psalms are a wonderful book uh, in, or, or wonderful, yeah, a wonderful book in the Bible, where you can find every range of emotion in the human experience. And as I was thinking of how we are, you know, dealing with this pandemic, one Psalm that came to mind uh, almost immediately is is Psalm 90, that says um, that God has always been our refuge from beginning to end. In every age uh, since the world was created, God has been our refuge. And so uh, uh, I'll offer this uh, setting of Psalm 90 by Jeanette Sullivan Whitaker, In Every Age. A song that I composed about three and a half years ago uh, speaks to kind of the last verse that uh, 
that we sang there, you know, teach us to embrace our every joy and pain. Um, and uh, right now we need a lot of joy. And so a song that I wrote about three, three years ago, back in uh, September of 16, was um, titled Love One Another, and it takes the, the refrain is from John chapter 13, verse 34, a new commandment I give to you. And then the verses are uh, some quotes from St. Teresa of Calcutta. Uh, we actually sang this uh, the weekend that uh, St. Teresa was canonized by Pope Francis, and we've sung it a few moments uh, or a few times since then. And, uh, you know, St. Teresa was always about joy. You know, every, everything she ever did was about joy. And she said, if, you know, if you want to change the world, go home and love your family. Well, we have a great opportunity to, to do that now because here we are in day four of the, the stay-at-home order uh, from Governor DeWine. Uh, so we have a chance to be with our family and to love our family. So I hope you enjoy uh, this setting of Love One Another uh, that I composed about three years ago. Thank you. 
my favorite psalms uh, out of all 150 are, is Psalm 62. And, uh, and that psalm says that, uh, and it, it kind of goes to what St. Augustine uh, would always say, that our hearts are restless until they rest in thee, O Lord. And Psalm 62 is saying, rest in God alone my soul. Uh, only from him is my help, my salvation, my comfort, my peace. And so here's a setting of Psalm 62 um, by a, a friend, uh, Felix Gable, Gable Kamala, who of course we know was the director of music at St. Michael's in Finley uh, until he passed a few years ago. But here's a beautiful setting of Psalm 62 by Felix.
And that should be our prayer, that our souls may rest in God alone, especially in this time of uncertainty and, uh, and trial. We have our souls rest in him, knowing that before all ages and throughout all ages, he has been our rock and our refuge. And, uh, and we can place our trust in him, knowing that he will bring us through this. So uh, thank you for tuning in this afternoon to share these songs with me, and I hope they brought you comfort and peace. Just a note that tonight at 6.30 here on the Facebook page, we will be bringing uh, Eucharistic Adoration to you via live stream. So please plan on tuning in at 6.30 tonight for some Eucharistic Adoration. And even though we cannot be there physically, uh, we know that the Lord will bless us for our efforts and for our perseverance through this time of trial. May God bless you this afternoon.